गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड स्टेइंग सेफली एट होम सो टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ आर सिलेबस दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंप्यूटर सिस्टम सो लेट स्टार्ट विद इट एज यू ऑल नोज दैट कंप्यूटर प्लेज एन असेंशियल रोल इन अर डेली लाइफ दे आर यूज इन डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ टास्क लाइक डिपॉजिट एंड विदड्रॉल ऑफ मनी फ्रॉम बैंक्स for casting of weather conditions reservation of tickets and many more so the world computer derived from compute means to calculate as you all knows that computer is an electronic machine but we are familiar the with that that computer will not perform independently it depend on the user it will be do what it is instructed to do in specific term computer works with the help of ipo cycle ipo cy- cycle means here the i stands for input p means process and o means output input means taking the input in the form of instructions and data then process that instructions and data and stores the result and at last displaying the stored result or output data into the print format so next we will talk about the basic components of computer system a computer system has three basic components first is a cpu that is a central processing unit second input devices and the third is output devices as you can see in this block diagram the cpu is categorized into two parts the first is alu that is arithmetic logic unit and second is control unit now i'm going to explain this diagram that how the data is flow in the computer system so the first the set of instruction is presented to the computer in the form of read raw data which is entered through input devices such as keyboard and mouse later this set of instruction is processed with the help of cpu and the computer system produced an output with the help of output devices mainly printers and monitors as you all know that large amount of data is stored in the computer memory with the help of primary and secondary memory storage devices this data is stored temporarily and permanently these devices are called the storage devices now i'm going to elaborate the components of cpu the first component of cpu is so first of all i'm going to explain what is cpu and how it works cpu stands for central processing unit in other terms it is called a processor the cpu is brain of computer because without the necessary action taken by cpu the user cannot get the desired output cpu is responsible for processing all the instructions which is given to computer system the different component of cpu is alu and cu so i am going to elaborate first of all cu that is control unit cu so how the cu work so firstly the control unit coordinates all the activities performed in the computer system it receives information or instruction or directions from the main memory of the computer it tells the logic unit memory as well as the input and output devices how to handle the program or instructions in proper order when 
the control unit receives any set of information or instruction it converts them to control signals then these signals are sent to the cpu for further processing now alu that is arithmetic and logic unit it performs arithmetic and logical operations when a set of instructions or program is conveyed out control unit generally uh, characterized which sort of operation is to execute arithmetic operation comprises of addition subtraction multiplication and division and the logical unit carries out operations such as and or equal less than and greater than after that control is changed to alu and the result generated in alu stored in memory so this is all about the cpu and its components next we will talk about input devices input devices these devices are mainly perform all the main functions in the computer system it perform transferring the data from outside the world into the system and later this data is processed and system produced instructions through output unit these devices act like a connection between outside the world and our computer system keyboard and mouse are the prime examples of input devices so next we will talk about the output devices output unit produce results with the help of devices such as printer and monitor these devices receive all the data or instructions in binary code that is in the form of zeros and ones the output devices convert the binary codes into human readable or intelligent form of language for better understanding and functionality they produces the changed or converted result to the user which is effectively comprehensible by humans for proper and accurate understanding printers and monitors and projectors are the prime examples of output devices so this is all about the block diagram and the components of computer system we will discuss in the next video lecture about the memory unit so i hope all the concepts are clear to everyone thanks all of you stay home stay safe